And meanwhile, the bars are still the same as they were this morning. I don't get it. Why do you need gym? It's like every time something got to be done, somebody's got to go to gym and he's got to do something different. Paul John Tuttle is an American businessman and television personality best known as the founder and owner of Orange County Choppers, a custom motorcycle manufacturer based in Newburgh, New York. He rose to fame as the star of the reality television series American Chopper, which aired on the Discovery Channel for almost a decade. The show followed the daily operations of OCC and the personal and professional lives of Tuttle and his family. In addition to his work at OCC, Paul Sr. owns various other business ventures, including producing custom motorcycles and designing and manufacturing OCC branded products. American Chopper was known for its dramatic and sometimes tense portrayal of the relationships between the Tuttles and the OCC team as they worked together to build custom motorcycles and run the business. The show featured a mix of behind-the-scenes footage of the design and fabrication process and personal and family drama, but for some reason, everyone hates Paul Tuttle Sr. Let's find out why. You know, I'm still having second thoughts about coming back and Honestly, I was kind of hoping in some magical way that it was going to be different, um, but it's not. And if it keeps up like this, I'm going to have to make a decision. Orange County Choppers is a custom motorcycle manufacturer based in Newburgh, New York. Paul Tuttle is known for his work as a designer and fabricator of custom motorcycles and as the star of the reality television series Orange County Choppers, also known as American Choppers. Paul Sr. was responsible for overseeing the design and fabrication of custom motorcycles and managing the business's day-to-day -day operations. He's known for his attention to detail and focus on quality and has earned a reputation as one of the industry's most skilled and respected custom motorcycle builders. John Paul Tuttle was born on May 1, 1949 in Yonkers, New York City, and later moved to Pearl River, where he spent most of his early years. Unknown to many, Paul Tuttle Sr. is a veteran of the Vietnam War and sailed as a member of the United States Merchant Marine. Paul's journey in the fabrication journey started a long time ago. He established Orange County Ironworks, a fabrication company now owned by his son, Dan. His journey in the fabrication industry started as a hobby rather than a career. He would build custom cars after drawing inspiration from custom bikes he saw in movies. In 1999, he decided to go into bike fabrication full-time and founded Orange County Chopper, hiring his son Paul Tuttle Jr. and they both began building bikes for sale. Both Paul Sr. and Jr. kept working in the new establishment, doing their best to be creative. They had no intention of going on reality TV, but the narrative changed when Discovery Channel discovered Orange County Ironworks. Upon discovering Paul Sr. and Jr.'s creativity, Discovery Channel struck a deal with them, followed up by a partnership to air the show on TV. The new show Orange County Chopper aired for the first time in September 2002. Orange County Choppers was known for its high-energy, fast-paced format and for showcasing the intricate and complex process of designing and building custom motorcycles. It was popular with motorcycle fans and those interested in the behind-the-scenes workings of a successful business. The show followed the daily operations in the garage while they showed the fans the careful thoughts and calculated moves that go into making each piece. However, professionalism wasn't the only thing displayed on the show. The fans also got a glimpse into the personal life of the Tuttles, especially the relationship between Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr. Tuttle's relationship with his son, Paul Tuttle Jr., was central to American Chopper. The show documented the sometimes strained relationship between the two as they worked together to build custom motorcycles and run the business at OCC. Despite their differences, the two men maintained a close relationship and worked together effectively. However, the bickering between the father and son got so bad that they each went on a legal battle against each other, and Paul Jr. had to leave the show. And don't bother coming in tomorrow, get your permanent.
Paul Sr. is skilled at his craft, and his work speaks for him. The show depicts him as the head of OCC. He's often seen in his team's company designing and building custom motorcycles, including footage of the team brainstorming ideas, working on prototypes, and completing final builds. However, Paul Sr. is simply one of those people who makes loving them difficult. Even when you want to love him, he gives you reasons not to. So for some fans, Paul Sr.'s skills are the only thing to love about him, and he's mainly considered belligerent. It's not their fault, though. Time and time again, Paul Sr. gave the fans reasons not to love him while the show aired. What'd you do on this bike? What are you talking about? Just what I said. Man, did we equally on work bike? on this bike? Yeah, you, listen. Wait a minute. Did uh, we listen. equally work on this bike? Every time I come out here, Vinny's doing a job and you're holding his hand. It's common for family-run businesses to experience conflicts and disagreements, and the Tuttle's relationship on the show was no exception. The strained relationship between Paul Sr. and Paul Jr. is top of the list on why everyone hates Paul Sr. Their tense relationship was a recurring theme on the reality television series. On the show, the two men often argued and disagreed over various aspects of the business and the design and fabrication of custom motorcycles. Although some fans believe that the conflicts depicted in American Chopper were often dramatized for entertainment, it's impossible to know the exact nature or cause of any specific disagreements between the two men. Meanwhile, that wasn't the case with many people, as what they saw on the show made them harbor resentment against Paul Sr. Some fans of the show dislike Paul Sr. due to his sometimes abrasive and confrontational behavior and his tendency to make unpopular or controversial decisions. Many fans of the show express frustration with Paul Sr.'s often aggressive personality and tendency to micromanage and make decisions without consulting his son or other members of the OCC team. Some fans also criticize his behavior towards his son and other family members, which was also depicted as controlling and dismissive. Missive. However, others admired him for his strong work ethic and dedication to the success of OCC. Overall, the reaction to Paul Sr. was mixed, with some fans expressing support and admiration for him, while others found his behavior off-putting. Despite these criticisms, Paul Sr. remains a popular and influential figure in the custom motorcycle industry. His work at OCC has earned him a reputation as a skilled and talented designer and builder. Paul Sr. gained prominence following his time on Orange County Choppers. He was previously married to Paula Tuttle and married Beth Dillian in 2007 following a divorce from his first wife. Similarly, his second marriage with Beth crashed in 2015, and he's presently in a relationship with Joanne Bulger K. Paul Sr. has four children from his two marriages, including Paul Jr. Paul Sr. has been in the news due to different controversies. In fact, he's no stranger to the courtroom. He was going in and out of the court on legal troubles at some point. Before we go into why he had legal problems, let's talk about his struggle with addiction. Paul Tuttle had a long battle with substance abuse for 15 years. He would drink to the point of throwing tantrums until he went to rehab on his wife's advice in 1985. His addiction was so terrible that he got totally plastered a day before he was supposed to go into rehab, but he somehow surmounted his addiction and got clean after his recovery. While Paul Sr. got over his addiction, his two sons, Mikey and Paul Jr., both had issues with substance abuse in their young lives, and it is unsure if they've gotten over it. Considering legal battles, the most prominent legal battle involving Paul Sr. was the lawsuit he filed against his son, Paul Jr. It's no news that the duo had a strained relationship and was mostly at loggerheads while the show aired. However, things went to hell in a handbasket after the two had a sizzling brawl in 2008. Paul Jr., without any official notice, was fired from the show. Paul Sr., in return, filed a lawsuit against Paul Jr. to buy off his 25% shares in OCC. However, the court ruled in favor of Paul Jr., ordering him to hold onto his shares until he's offered a legitimate sum for his shares. Subsequently, Paul Jr. also filed a lawsuit against his father, demanding the sum of $1 million in damages. Paul Sr. also had a fallout with Cody Connolly, a guest on the show. Cody Connolly filed a lawsuit of breach of contract and fraud against Paul Sr. after he used his designs and his merch without permission or compensation. 
The unending legal battles and his lousy spending habits led Paul Sr. to file for bankruptcy in March 2018, stating he had debts of over $1 million while possessing an overall net worth lower than $1.8 million. Although the bulk of that is the interest fees from his New York home, which he later sold in 2019. He spends $12,000 on average in a month, while he only earns around $15,000. Outside his debts, he also owed about $150,000 in taxes, plus more in credit card debt and medical bills. It's safe to say Paul Sr. is living on the past glory OCC afforded him. Even though Orange County Chopper stopped airing long ago, Paul Tuttle Sr. is still very much in the fabrication business. He now works alone, as his son Paul Jr. has his own company called Paul Jr. Designs. The duo seems to have a better relationship now, but when quizzed if the fans should expect to see them co-own a business, Paul Jr. always answers in the negative since working together was the genesis of their feud.